What is up everybody? Jake Oreo is here today. Today I'm making a video to discuss my housing situation. So remember I made you guys a video. It's so funny, like when I'm not doing videos, they're so well behaved, right? And then when I start videos up, they act like crazy people. So I talked about potentially, you know, about my grandmother's. We'll wait, we'll wait. Guys, you wanna go outside? Go outside, go, go, go. No, no, don't come to me, go outside. So what I was talking about with my grandma's house and that situation. So the reason why that didn't end up working is because I spoke to my cousin who's familiar with her funds and how that works and stuff. And apparently that all her money is invested in the home and she can't afford to keep paying for the home. So she has to sell it to somebody and I'm not willing to buy it. I was willing to continue paying for it. Look at this guy. Why do you guys think so bad right now? I gave you a bath not long ago. Do you love daddy? Do you love daddy? Daddy loves you. Kiss, kiss. Careful. Whew, stinky dogs. So that plan is out the window. So I know I did a house tour before on this house and I think I took it off because she's licking his ear, it's, it's so weird. I think I took it off because I had my in-home gym in it and I didn't want it to connect to anything like people like, oh, you're training. I, I just don't want that happening. So I believe it's all, I mean, I could be wrong. It could be online. I don't know. But so there might not be a video. Blog. So back to the main topic is, so I started renting this place in November. I, if you guys watch all my videos, you pretty know the situation. I had a house in this neighborhood for a year I was leasing and had nothing but troubles. You guys know I have nothing but troubles with the HOA. So over there, don't, hey, don't lick that weight. Guys, they're licking the dumbbell, both of them. The dirty, the dirty, rusty dumbbell they're licking. So I had nothing but problems over there. Uh, neighbor across the street, I told you guys about that crazy kid. Uh, I told you about the neighbors on each side, both had like, Watch out, you're gonna get hurt. Both had like nutcase dogs. Um, and it was problems. So I moved to this place in November. Like no matter how many times that I like tell myself, I can't believe I've only been here for six months. Like it literally feels maybe 10 or 11 months. It's only six months. Now it's not necessarily a bad thing, but it just feels that way. So I started to do a lot better. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. I started to do a lot better on OnlyFans and you know, income's been up. But that doesn't mean just because you make money you should spend it. Not necessarily. And at this time, I can't qualify for a mortgage sadly. So I wanted to re-up a second year here. But you guys know that Guys, y'all annoying the hell out of me. Please, move, go. Vamos, chico. So you guys know that I had a bunch of problems here. Just to name some of them. The day that I moved in here, this old man. Do you think that's rude, Junior, or not? You see daddy talking, you come up here, jump on me and kiss me. I love you to death, but you're a pain in my butt cheeks. And now Buster's, Buster, don't sniff the weight. So like I pull up to the house and already this old man was like, oh now she wants some love. Okay, come on, story time, you can be part of it. Already he was like, you're not allowed to put trash out. He, oh my God, oh my God. You wanna come up, pick your legs, pick your legs. Oh, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Holy cow. She loves me so much. Look at this girl, look at this girl. Uh, okay, careful, you're gonna get hurt, you're gonna get hurt. Oh my god. So, back to the story, they're like, now they acting nuts. So, 
Guys, please. Damn, I only got nine minutes. Oh, I should have deleted video. All right, let me. Uh, I guess I have to deal with it. So let me make it quick before the video ends. So pretty much telling me what to do, right? Even before I moved in. And then I found that he lives right behind me. Like I can see his yard from my yard. Guys, stop, stop, watch out. So like I said, I had not, nothing but problems here. So to make this a lot quicker, because I'm running out of time here, um, I wanted to re up the second year here, but because of all the issues I had and the owners in China, they're pretty much like, oh, we're not gonna tell you until two months before your lease ends if we're willing to let you re-up or not. So pretty much I have to wait till September to figure out if I can continue paying them money, which I pay a lot of, right? So, so that's a real pain in the butt. So I found a really, really nice place I like, but with six months left on my lease, it's just, it's not, a, it's not a good business strategy to get another place and then pay six months, which is like a lot of money, over $10,000, and have two places at the same time. So, I'm kind of fed up with the situation because I don't know if I'm able to get this place for a second year. Um, and I, I asked them like, can I do a lease to own option where part of my rent would go to the price of the house if I purchased the house. If I didn't, then it just counts as rent money. And they're like, no. Junior, stop that. So, kind of kind of in a dilemma right now. Um, I guess, you know, right now I'm waiting to hear back from the realtor of this house I just saw yesterday. And pretty much if they said, yeah, we'll rent it to you, that I would go, well, pretty much the house that I'm looking at is a lot more pricey. So I said to the guy, I was like, listen, there's no way I'm going to rent this house and not want to buy it. So in two years, I just want to know that I could purchase the house. Like I'm not asking for a fixed price to buy it right now. I'm not asking. I'm just saying that in two years that they'll be inclined to sell it because in two years from now, I'll be able to, you know, get a mortgage on that property. So once that happens, then I'm going to go back to the realtor of this house and be like, listen, you know, how would you guys like if I told you last minute that I wasn't going to re-up? It's just very bad business, you know? So if they do say yes to the other house, then I'm just going to be like, listen, I'm giving you two months notice in advance and I'm going to break my lease and you can use my security and last to pay for the last two months and I'm canceling my automatic payments and I'll be out of here, you know, uh, by the 1st of July or the day before the 1st of July. I don't know how many days are in June, but... I mean, that's, that's what I'm hoping for, like, hope that works out, but at the end of the day, they might not, so. But I, I don't have news on this other property yet that I really, really, really like. And it's in a community where I can have a basketball court, I have a huge yard for the dog that's already fenced off. There's so many, so many benefits. The amenities in the neighborhood is so great. It's in a great neighborhood. Uh, I, just, I just gotta wait, you know, I, got, I gotta be patient, like, um, Little things like this used to bother me when I was younger because I, you guys know that I've been, I've been through so much crap that if something little happens, I mean, like I've been through so many things that <laughs> didn't come to fruition that like I just pretty much deal with now. Like, like the situation with the uh, Tampa house. If you aren't familiar with that, you can watch my videos. So, always, there's always stuff like that. So, just hoping for the best. If not, I gotta wait till September. Around September, I'll start looking for new places. And then if I don't find anything better, I pray they'll re-up or else they'll be homeless. Uh, uh, back to the parents' garage. Uh. So, sorry, this video, this video could have been a lot longer. Some people would like it longer, some people wouldn't. But I'm running out of time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Just 7,000 subscribers away from hitting 100,000 subscribers. So be sure to subscribe.